Here we are, folks, where it is another day, another week. Soon it'll be another month, and uh, we're here. So let me get finished in, in my settings, and uh, we're ready to go. But I'm Tom Young, and I'm here for AnchorFM.com podcast called Money Shifts and the Family Money Farm Group on Facebook. Uh, we're here to change people's lives, to change things for the better, find a way to find the gold mine of the future. You know, that could be an analogy, find the gold mine of the future. And I believe the gold mine exists in the six inches between your ears. When we start every program every day, we start with prayers for everybody in the world. This China pandemic that has gone around the world released from Wuhan lab in China is what it appears right now. And more and more information is coming up by the day in, in what is going on and how the information has been manipulated. But anyway, everybody from the deepest jungles of the Amazon to the remotest regions of Siberia and the Sahara Desert, everybody has been touched by the COVID-19 virus. We pray for those people. We pray for those who have lost loved ones. And we pray for the loved ones who have been lost. We also add our prayers for those in Ukraine, uh, around the world, for this war from Russia. Uh, nobody really knows what's going on in other people's minds over this. Uh, they talk about uh, a lot of things. I don't want to get into that, but we want to pray for everybody that has been impacted that has suffered, that has died, lost loved ones. We pray the Lord open his arms and gather them into his kingdom of heaven above. In Jesus' name, we pray. I want to talk more about savings today. You know, the title I gave today was, you know, how do I get a PhD in savings? It, it is so important to understand that you are who you are because this is where you decided to be. You've made all the decisions in your life that brought you to this moment in time. And if you don't like where you're at, something has to change. And it has to start with the six inches between your ears, the thinking muscle, which is what I talk about all the time. Let's talk about a quote today. We're still talking about Franklin Roosevelt, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. No man is worth his salt who is not ready at all times to risk his well-being, to risk his body, to risk his life in a great cause. That, that is so important, and, and what a statement that that is, because it is so, so appropriate for everything that is going on in the world today. To apply ourselves in every way we can and shape and it really comes down to one main basic ingredient and it's about growing ourselves you know and, and how do i manage my money helen keller said it best what would be worse than being born blind than to have sight without vision and, and, and it is so hard right now because of the wokeness of the world. And, and people in, in our educational system are now being told what to think. And they are not being challenged and taught how to think. I challenge everybody to do the research about the things that I talk about. Because it will be undeniable that the facts are the facts, folks. If you do something, you know, when you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. We become what we think about. What the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can achieve. Napoleon Hill, the author of the book, Think and Go Rich. There is so much education in that book about everything. There are two books in life, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie and The Magic of Thinking Big by 
Dr. Schwartz, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Those three books literally would change your life if you would just study those books and implement what they teach. The future is yours for the taking. And always question traditional thinking, uncovering myths and realities to discover solutions. Now, how do I do all this? How do I make this happen? Repetition of affirmation of orders to your subconscious mind is the only known method of voluntary development of the emotion of faith. All thoughts which have been emotionalized and mixed with faith begin immediately to translate themselves into the physical equivalent. These are life-changing statements. You know, I have learned through the years the right things and the wrong things. When, when I did things in, in a way that it is recommended in the books, I found results. When I just blew it off and said, okay, I read the book, now fix me. Results were hard to come by. And that's what led me to the book, The Family Money Farm, The CFO Project, and the newest book, The Financial Mastery Coaching Blueprint, which is the beginning of building the framework of success, the framework of accumulating capital, the framework of learning how to manage and get out of debt. And then ultimately, the ultimate goal would be to own your own debt. But you cannot accomplish that until you learn how to save. You have to save and start accumulating capital. You have to understand and accept delayed gratification. There are no get-rich-quick schemes. They don't exist. And if, and if somebody's telling you it is, they're out to scam you and take your money. Remember, the financial world has four rules. I want all your money, more ongoing, keep it forever, and give back as little as possible. The four rules of the blueprint are simply those four rules twisted around so they apply to you. The starting place is saving 20% of your gross annual income. And, and you know what? If you, if you can't do that, get a part-time job. You have to make more money. If you are at a level of income that is below poverty, you have to grow you into the ability to make more money. How do I do that? I read Think and Go Rich. Memorize some of the information in there. Emotionalize your self-talk. Write it out. Memorize it. Repeat it every day, once in the morning, once at night. I know I have the ability to achieve the object of my definite purpose in life. Therefore, I demand of myself persistent, continuous action toward its attainment. And I hear and I promise to render such action. If you're not willing to do that, you have little chance of success. It's like buying a lottery ticket. I'm talking about the lottery ticket of life here. The lottery ticket of life lies in here, the six inches between your ears. You have to make a conscious decision to grow you into becoming the person that you need to become to find success. The formula, the pattern is in that book, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. In the beginning, working for Andrew Carnegie, the ultra-rich guy, it gave him access to the most successful people in the world. The 500 most successful people in the world he was able to interview and find out their secret, secret ingredient. It led them all to success. There are 13 common denominators in the book, Think and Grow Rich. If you only took one chapter a month, 
in a month, read it, dissected it, implanted it in your mind, and, and did what it tells you to do, where you could be in 12 months is beyond belief. Back to that faith thing again I just read. Do you have the faith to believe in yourself that yes, you can do those things you set out to do? I have talked about how to save money. You need to make a conscious decision and start saving money. When you have as little as $1,000 saved in an account that is earmarked for long-term savings, you can now go to your auto and homeowners and increase the deductible, lower the premium, and recapture more of your money that you're willing to give to other people. So now you have more money to save. It is just a process, folks. Winter time is year round snowballing. Snowballing debt is the secret of how to get out of debt, but there are other ingredients that go with it. I've talked about all of these things in all of my podcasts, and we will continue to talk about them. I'm going to talk about savings and how to save going forward. There are five elements that you have to avoid in making decisions, whether it's about saving in the bank, saving in a life insurance policy, saving in your 401k, risk, taxes, regulation, inflation, and devaluing of the dollar, depreciation of the dollar. So if you're making a decision about saving money for the future, and it does not address those five elements, risk, taxes, regulation, inflation, and the valuing the dollar. Are we having an inflationary problem right now? I believe this inflation stuff going on is here to stay for a while. Be prepared. It's gonna get a lot worse. It's gonna get like it's never been before. Elections have consequences. And I, for the life of me, cannot figure out how people don't see what's happening. The absolute purposeful destruction of freedoms. And, and mainly in the USA, but this is going to go on around the world because the billionaire elite of the world, the World Trade Organization, the World Economic Forum, these people want control over everything. They want each and every one of us to be slaves to their desires. <clears throat> Can't own anything anymore. They provide and we provide the labor. It's no different than the Federal Reserve the banking cartel, as I refer to it as, wants to control all the money. Just like right now, they raised the interest rate in, in, a, in a plan to lower inflation. But who do we pay the interest to? We pay it to them. So who's really winning in this battle? The great reckoning is coming. The great reckoning is coming. There was a book written in 1992 called The Great Reckoning of 1993. It was a book born out of the Club of Rome's prediction that the world was going to run out of oil. It didn't. There are things right now that the media, the World Health Organization, uh, the World Economic Forum, these people want to control you, and they use fear to do it, false evidence appearing real. We will get into this more on Wednesday this week. I hope you enjoy my talks, follow some of my advice, get the books, Think and Grow Rich, The Magic of Thinking Big, How to Win Friends and Influence People, those three key books. And then on top of that, The Family Money Farm, The CFO Project. Learn how to become the chief financial officer at home that you already are. 
but you must take responsibility for that position and learn how to manage money differently. If you go to cfo-project.com, you will get an instant download of my book, The Family Money Farm, The CFO Project. You will get a second email shortly after that and give you the ebook called Financial Mastery Coaching, The Blueprint, The Beginning of Frameworks. God bless you. We'll see you here on Wednesday this week again, talking more about the confiscation that is going on that prevents you from saving the money that you should be saving. God bless you. See you then.